Hi, in this video I'll show you how to wire a switchboard for a two-bedroom apartment with your own hands. The purpose of this video is to give as much as possible useful details in a short clip, given the most useful and the most handy content. Unfortunately, it is impossible to embed all the details in here, hence you can ask any questions in the comments, I'll be sure to answer those. For this purpose, I've created a Telegram channel where you can ask anything you want to know and receive an answer for it in real time. Very handy. Also, I'll answer the most interesting comments in the next video. Before we start assembling the switchboard, we detach the rear end of the switch box, leaving only DIN rail mountings. Live wire terminal, neutral wire terminal, 40 amp single pole circuit breaker, power distribution block or PDB. In the PDB we use two bus bars for live wire and two bars for neutral wire, eight terminals for power sockets units. An end cover, 12 terminals for switches, an end cover, and six terminals left for the lighting. Installing some markers on the terminals. I'll explain why we do this later. A 2 amp Hager MCB to protect the relay. An 8 amp Wallage relay. A 2 amp MCB to keep contactors coil safe. A single pole contactor. A 63 amp contactor. This is a good sturdy one, can handle any overload, well, almost any. A contactor for the master breaker, an impulse relay, one, two, three, four, six. I'll create a separate video with more details on how to handle contactors, how to wire them up, and how an impulse relay works, and we'll assemble a prototype to demonstrate all the processes. B25 goes for the oven, B16 for bedroom 1, bedroom 2, living room, kitchen, air conditioner, hallway, this one for the server, 5 MCBs for the lighting, B10, Differential breakers for a washing machine, for the bathroom, for kitchen working area, and for the cooktop. So far the client wasn't very clear on this one, but according to the order this one ha also has to be protected with a differential breaker. We install a power socket like this for emergencies. It goes on the uninterruptible power line. As practice shows, this one is a must-have. Marvelous. Outstanding. All the models are installed. All we have to do is to wire them up right. And the switchboard is practically ready. Now we'll go step by step. Each wire goes where and how all of these work. So we do the wiring. We start with the power line. L wall terminal connect to protective 40 amp MCB. Breaker connects to the power distribution block live wire. We use two buses. These two will be interconnected. Neutral terminal connects to neutral bus 1. That goes for the uninterruptible power line. The second neutral bus goes for the interruptible power line. This one operates through the contactors.
interconnecting these two buses. Let's prepare the wires for the contactors in a voltage relay. We use free to 1.5 mm multi circuit cablings. Cable Ferro by Phoenix Contact. So, regarding the neutral lines, the interruptible line goes to the contactor. The uninterruptible connects to 63 amp contactor and to the voltage relay. The protective MCB, its live wire output, connects to voltage relay with a 1.5 mm to the first input. And the second MCB protects the contactor coil, the A1 input. Output goes to A1. Now we wire 1 to 8 terminals to the power socket units. We leave approximately 0.8 centimeters. So the wiring for sockets is ready now. Neatly connected to the terminal and the corresponding MCBs. Now we continue wiring the protective MCB to the contactor and the second protective MCB. So, 6 mm from live wire goes to protective MCB. The uninterruptible line is connected to the contactor, the seventh clamp. The same way to the first clamp of the contactor goes live wire with a 6 mm cable. And now the contactor's output goes to the second protective MCB. We connect them with a 6 mm wire. Next step, from 63 amp contactor we create the interruptible line. From the 8th clamp to the PDB neutral wire I mentioned before, the live wire goes through 2nd clamp to the connected socket unit with a 6 mm. For that we prepare strip contacts. Also live wire goes to diff breakers and a double pole bus. Measure it, cut it and connect it to the clamps. Let me try out this thing. Is it worth its every penny or not? No, oh, seems okay. Adding strip contacts for the diff breakers. Regarding the cables, life wire goes from second MCB. From second MCB clamp to the diff breaker, and neutral comes from PDB interruptible line. Also, live wire comes from third MCB to terminal plug that we add. Terminal plug is used to power the switches, and we add a master switch. One more end cover for the master switch. All these were added just now. The client wants to light up everything at once, as well as powering it down. Hence we wire the lights to switches and the corresponding MCBs. Wiring is complete. Looks nice. If you also enjoyed the result, don't forget to hit the like button. Ok guys, all that's left is, is to connect neutral to impulse relay. Neutral comes from the interruptible line. Also, voltage relay, direct live connected to the 6th clamp, 
comes from the PDB. Meanwhile, the force is wired to A1 clamp to the contactor. Also, the power socket has to be connected. The socket is grounded with the coming of wire. Neutral comes from the PDB uninterruptible power line. Live wire naturally also comes from there. And so we may consider switch box wiring done. So let's make a continuity test and wire live cable to the first voltage clamp to A1, interconnect clamp number 1 to clamp 5 with the live cable and general uninterruptible line to clamp number 9. Pay close attention to this one. So, gentlemen, time to move away a bit from the monitor since we're going to test the switchboard so no one gets freaking shocked. Of course, we're sure in what we have done, but it's better to move away a bit. This switchboard goes to Italy. All the local electrician has to do is to just mount it and wire up and everything should work after. If you need to design a project and assemble the device according to it, we can help you out with this one. We're not only assembling switch boxes, but we also do electric installation work as well throughout Odessa and Ukraine. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. If you would like to see information like this more often, please let us know. We'll make it more frequent. And see you next time!